When I get angry, I curl up my fists. Like when I first came here, there was this guy that kicked me, and and I don't know if it was on purpose or accident, but I kicked him back. I didn't I didn't mean to hurt him, but I hurt him, and so that's why I came in here to calm down. And because it's nice to come in when I'm mad and sad, I just come in here, sit, uh, come in here, play with my Legos, and that calms me down sometimes. It's nice being a kid that's not getting into fights anymore and stuff like that. Combined. Thomas is the kind of kid who could slip through the cracks. Last year as a fourth grader, his school suspended him five times for his behavior. He was just super aggressive. There's holes in my wall at home that we had to patch up because he lost his temper and, and kicked a hole in the wall. Aggressive with his siblings. He was aggressive at daycare, aggressive at school. He would get suspended from school for his aggressive behaviors. Kindergarten was rough and it just got, he got suspended his kindergarten year. And his principal at that time had told us that kindergartners don't get suspended. But in 2018, he transferred to Ridgeview Elementary and he hasn't been suspended once. At Ridgeview, kids aren't automatically suspended because the staff is trying something radically different. They believe that there are reasons behind a student's bad behavior and that it's most likely caused by childhood trauma. When I taught, my thought was, I've got to teach these kids how to read, how to write, how to do math. Today, there's a different thought. We've got to teach kids how to cope. We've got to teach kids how to deal with different issues that we're unfamiliar with or we don't have experience with. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention classifies childhood trauma as Adverse Childhood Experiences, or ACEs. Research has shown that ACEs can lead to a greater risk of disease, depression, high-risk behaviors, and early death. ACEs that I'm most familiar with are parents that are incarcerated, parents that are drug users, kids that come from families of divorce, kids that come from families um, where there's physical abuse or mental abuse. Thomas really struggled in kindergarten. That's when his dad and I split up. Um, I had been clean and sober for a few years already, but um, his dad was struggling with substance use. We both struggled a lot with substance use. Um, Thomas was in foster care when he was one. Um, we got him back fairly quickly. We got clean right away. So he really struggled when dad and I split. At nine years old, Thomas went to a jail for the first time and told his dad if he didn't get clean that he didn't want to see him anymore. And they were each other's lives, so his dad's clean today and we'll tell you that he's clean today because of Thomas. When Thomas first came to us, he came to us with a variety of different behaviors and issues that he had that he brought with him. You know, we knew that this was a kid that we needed to spend some time with. This is Jeff Clark and he's one of Thomas's counselors at Ridgeview. Before he was a counselor, Jeff was a teacher for 21 years. He and his team have implemented a radical new way to help students deal with the traumas that follow them to school every day. I am sitting in what we call the calm room. I've taken a classroom and created a space where kids can come and know that this is a place where they can find calm. When they come in, they know that this is the place that you come to just calm yourself if you need to calm yourself and de-escalate. When you walk in the door, what we'd like you to do is grab a bean bag, have a seat on the carpet, and then once they get into that space again where they've de-escalated, they're able to have a conversation about what it is that's going on with the goal of getting them back to class. What we've established here with the teachers and the whole staff is that when you see behaviors um, that escalate in your classroom, we want the calm room to be the first line of defense. We want to be the first ones to work with the kids. Ridgeview's Calm Room has been open for a year and a half. Between September 2018 and March 2019, the Calm Room had over 300 student visits. 
The issues that were addressed included anxiety, exhaustion, grief, and anger management. A student can visit the calm room after getting their teacher's permission, or the visit can be requested by a student's parents, teachers, or the administration. In, in a, such a short amount of time, from the beginning of the school year to the end of the school year, to see where he's come, where he was and where he is today, it's just, it's amazing. It, it was a little rocky and bumpy at first because as anything that you do that's new, it's gonna be um, a, little, a little tough at first, but you know, as he started to build the relationships with us and as he started to spend more time with us, we realized you know, that this was a kid that we could make some progress with and that this was a kid that we could really see some change. It makes me feel better. I could come in here and breathe and hang out with kids that I know and hang out with kids that I like to hang out with. We all have something that, well, the big kids all have something that want, they want to calm down at. I don't want to do that. It's just too long. Right, I'll help her set it up. Taylor. He can go there. He can calm down. And since he's been there, he started to teach younger students um, to play chess and has really become a mentor to other students who have had the same behaviors that he's had in the past. His change has been just so amazing. Somebody disconnected. Thank you. Yay. While filming in Yakima, Brianne invited NBC News to attend a special ceremony for Thomas. In addition to working with Jeff Clark in the calm room, Thomas has worked with the WISE program. WISE stands for Wraparound with Intensive Services, and it's a local behavioral health support program for kids on Medicaid. Thomas was finally graduating. My name is Jeff Clark. I am one of two school counselors at Ridgeview Elementary where Thomas and Nathaniel are students. And my question is, what are you looking forward to in the coming months? And I have to be honest and say I am looking forward to watching this guy move on to middle school and rock it and do a great job. Yeah. I'm so excited about this. Thomas asked me not to cry, so crying is not something I do, so I think that's why he, uh, he, he's like, just don't cry, Mom. I'm like, yeah. It's just, this year has been so peaceful. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.